<laughs> Welcome to the Geek Flit and Joys of Podcast. Here's a show where we talk about shows, movies, and video games, and cool stuff we see during the week. I'm your host, Arthur Price, with me as sometimes, Mikon Pia. Billy. What's the crack and do? Uh, allergy. Santa Ana. Nice. Both of y'all are driving me going, driving me fucking crazy this episode. No, so I'm going to my medicines a la verga. All right. Rotimetron. No, nah, Lortadina. Yeah, that's the, that's, a, that's a good one. Joining the yeah. pod this week. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, let me introduce you. <laughs> Already breaking rules. Sorry about that. Douche. What the fuck, douche? The only, it's happening. only guests I have in this pod are family members. There's Hello. a lot of them. Yeah. So whoever wants to be on there, you got a free invitation until you piss me off. Thank you. Um, <laughs> how you doing, douche? Pretty good, pretty good. You are a veteran geek, meaning you're older than us. That's you right. like other shit, yeah. but we kind of like the same shit, so we're going to have yeah. a good time. Yeah, hopefully we do. Um, yeah, I don't know what to do with this shit, man. Um, <laughs> you always start with T's and P's. This gonna be but nobody die, nobody die. What do you mean nobody die? Nobody die. What do you mean? Did I miss something? What do you mean? Did somebody die? Doesn't T's and P's stand for T's and Pussy? No. Oh, shit. Oh, way. T's and P's in, is, is, is thoughts and prayers, you sick what fuck. What do you mean thoughts and prayers? Thoughts and prayers. Oh, T's and Pussy. No. That's the other <laughs> T's and P's from my other show, dog. <laughs> okay. Sorry about that. You scared me. I was like, who the fuck died? <laughs> I thought I was going to show some cagare. T's and P's. No. <laughs> That's why you got Google and WhatsApp. Yeah. No, no. Sorry. No. Okay, I'm no. gone. T's I'm and going. P's. Oh, T's and P's. Oh, okay. you're only here for the tits and pussy? Yeah. No, 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 no. Okay. No. No. I thought because it's the 150th episode, man. It's the 150. 150. Of these fuckers. Um, Hablando de 150. You want me to piss you off right now? Sure. I remember there was a Scream trailer. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Did you see it? Are you for reals? Yeah. Yeah. I sent it to you. <laughs> ah, qué pendejo, si es cierto. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Boing. La alergia me está matando todavía. Yeah. Why would I told you your fucking allergy was going to piss me off? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How, wh- wh- where were you going with that? You thought I was going to be pissed because there's a screen trailer? Uh, yeah, I, I, there was a moment where I th- thought you didn't see it. No, yeah. I sent it to you. <laughs> Por eso te digo, wey. All right, all right. Let's get into fucking, fucking trailer next, talk. Y'all motherfuckers, your brain. two minutes in, and, and <laughs> okay. this is already a train wreck. Um, <laughs> another season of Big Mouth dropped. Damn. None of you motherfuckers give a shit except me. Right. No, it, no, way. I still have to watch the last season. Okay. okay. So then you don't you don't care as much as me. I'm caught up. I'm ready to go. I'm, I'm horrid about it. I liked how that every season they bring in a, a different kind of monster representing something different. Mm-hmm. And this season we got love bugs. That's pretty cool. Yeah, lo- yeah. there's another one. There's a handful of other ones, right? Um, this is honestly top three shows for me. Uh, I get it. Reels? Uh, cartoons. <laughs> adult, adult cartoons. Yeah. Who's your first? I got to put Rick and Morty in there right now. Okay. Mm. Second. Yeah. Family Guy is holding on by nothing, but I, I don't. But I don't watch it as much as I watch this. Like I'm not, you know, every Sunday watching the new shit. Then I thought this you said is South Park than too. Family Guy. South Park's pretty good too, but again, I'm not on top of it. Like uh, South Park, I respect it. Yeah. But uh, for me, 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 this is probably number two. You have seen the the whole seasons? I've seen it all. Yes, I'm up to I'm up to date. Every time there's a new season, I watch it. Okay. The other two, I put them there when we did the the list of like adult cartoons because of the the legacy that they've done. Uh-huh. You That's know? different. Yeah. That's what, that but this is you're is. asking me personally, me Edward. My opinion is the only one that matters. Yeah. This is number two for me. I really, really, really enjoyed it. Yeah. It's funny. It's I, I, okay. I haven't seen it. I, might, I like I it. I might. I might. I like it. It's yeah. good. It's really, really funny. And everything. Every season is a, is a different. They attack something different, explaining, talking about bodies and feelings okay. and sexual and all that other shit. But it's really, really crude and hilarious. Like it's, it's, it's these time types. Yeah. Topics, I mean. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. These heavy, heavy topics. topics. Okay. But the monsters are they imaginary or they're living with the people? They're imaginary, but they represent like uh, like those, like the butterflies are love bugs. You know mm-hmm. how you feel like you got yeah, yeah, bitten yeah, by the love bug? Yeah, yeah. And then that when creepy guy, 
Yeah. Uh, when you see a Mija in your in your horde, mm-hmm. uh, this guy is their horn more monster. So he's horny all the time. Ah, okay, and okay. These these main Hell these yeah. main are horny monsters. So that's why they're having threesomes in the beginning of the fucking of the fucking trailer. <laughs> that was kind of hard. <laughs> yeah. Uh have you seen any of this, Felix? I see what? Have you seen any episode of this? Yeah, Think the about? first two seasons. Mm-hmm. I have to watch the third one and no what? The fourth one. And watch this one. So you watched the last three? Yeah. Oh. But how you like Big Mother? You haven't even have Netflix. What I'll figure mean? it out. Don't worry about oh, it. Oh, it's a cabron. I don't have nothing. <laughs> oh, neta. You don't have nothing. I have nothing no more. I'll Tú figure no it out. Nada, wey, todo, wey. The only thing to... you got is time. That's the only That's <laughs> yeah, the only reason you watch I'm it. I'm going to be like. Because we yo, work. I'm here to talk to you about the Lord Jesus Christ. You all got Netflix. Netflix yeah, I can yeah. watch and yeah. take it <laughs> off and watch this shit. <laughs> I need your email and password for you. I'll figure it I'm out. Okay. <laughs> I got to mooch it off of somebody. Okay. You got Netflix? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> nice. I sleep. <laughs> cool. How many profiles is in there? Three. Okay. I can be. It's an can, extra space for one more. I can be your children. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I might. You want me I to might. call you? Yeah. You want me to call your daddy? <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, fuck, dude. Don't mind. <laughs> I'll call your daddy for Netflix, doc. Okay. Uh, because also dropping on Netflix is this Halle Berry movie that I've been hearing and watching about because I am an avid UFC. Uh, mm-hmm fan and they've been talking about this movie for a while now mainly because uh one of their champions um shevchenko is in this movie who halle fights in this movie so this thanksgiving academy award winning actress halle berry directs and stars in a triumphant sports drama about a fighter who reclaims her power in and out of the ring when everyone has counted her out so she's like a washed up fighter coming back into the ufc we've seen this before yeah. we've done that before it's That's not right. nothing new but now it's a lady exactly and uh, is she's a uh, directorial debut i don't know if it's her debut but she is directing this one okay i think uh, she is the first one i can check that out uh, I'm really just supporting Shevchenko on this because they've been they've been promoting this for a while now. Is yeah. Shevchenko the redhead one? Yeah, yeah. I was she's, fucking she, surprised. She's Shevchenko she's is a, a real fighter. What? Shevchenko is the no, she is. She's she the, still. She's the baddest right now. She's a champion. Yeah. Uh, I feel like she she should fight dudes. She's Neta? yeah. Neta. She's murking everybody. Holy like it's not shit. even fair. Like to the point where I'm like, oh, she's damn. better than Ronda Rousey. Uh, ye- I think so. Yeah, the same way. No, my miss. Uh, no, 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 no. There's I, different weights too, and, and ladies. There's two. There's three different weight classes for the ladies now. Okay. okay. There used to be only one. This is Halle's directorial debut. I told you. Uh, I think there's three different weight home, classes man. now. Huh? I think there's three women weight classes. Oh, okay. And uh, Shevchenko has only lost for against. The lady in the higher weight class is her, who's also the champ, who's also regarded as she's the best. Okay. Shevchenko's the badass, man. And every time she fights, she kind of like there's noise around this movie. So that's that's where my hype is coming from, that I've heard about it for like a year now. Mm-hmm. And now the fucking trailer finally drops. And I'm down. Netflix. It's just 2020. Well, I follow her in the Easties. Yeah. Kelly Berry, and did she put out some post from the she was directing the movie so that's how i know I, I that's how i know it she was the first time she was directed the movie oh it says right here directed by Halle berry mm-hmm. i did not know if it was her first director yeah, yeah. where's shashenko what do you mean i don't see her on the credits the credits you want you're on imdb yeah oh i don't know i'm not on imdb she must i'm looking at the trailer she's fighting and punching bitches in the face dog yeah but she's not she's in the, the red-headed one like, yeah oh, okay yeah, I don't, I don't care if it's on the credits or not. Her, she's in, she's in the she movie. Might, she she might, might not have a line. Yeah. Well, she, she, Valentina Shevchenko, fool. What the done. fuck you talking about? Go blow your nose, home. What the fuck wrong with you? Allergies. She don't have a picture. That's yeah. different. Uh huh. Okay. I was going to tell my name was in the top cast. Amanda Nunes is in this bitch too. The beat, the lady who beat her. Amanda Nunes is a Brazilian. Brazil. Lesbiana. The one she that got you, a baby. You said she was in the Mandalorian one. Who is, who is her? That's Gina Carano. She's oh, a fighter too? She was. was she was the OG 
Ronda Rousey, but the Twitter canceled her. They we don't like her mm. allegedly. Oh. We as in like the bullshit make believe land that is Twitter. Mm. I, I she's whatever. Ah, to me. fuck Twitter. I don't even have Twitter. <laughs> no, I don't think she's in Twitter, here. Twitter's leaving shut off. No. If there's one, like, platform I would shut off would be Twitter. Yeah. Yeah. Why? It's the one I don't pay attention to, and it feels like it's the one that has the most weight. I don't know why. Yeah. But the the dudes that are like, how old are you, boss? Huh? Thirty nine. Thirty nine. Yeah. From thirty five to. 39 most most people of that age are the ones who use twitter i don't, Word? I don't use it man i would no, think no, it'd no, be i'm not saying people. everybody no actually not uh i thought it would be more the ones our that were, age group uh, I think, no I think a little bit older older, older. yeah a politician bit older than us. Shit, you know like all the As ceos just, twitter was really underground way back in the day when it started but then mm-hmm. it started to blow up and everybody t- started using it so it's not for us Nah, I don't like Twitter. No. And, and like, can't you like celebrities see? use it? Everybody's got everything. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, we're more uh, the Instagram. This, like, this player tweet that, and you know, I like I, the Insties. Yeah, but I mean, just pictures. everything they post, they post in every social media they have. You know, right? What they post in Facebook, they post in the Insties. The Which Twitter, you can follow us at Geeks Looks and Joys on the Insties. Insta- I yeah. think we have a Twitter, don't we? No, no. I yeah. thought you made one. No, Felix. I'll have to check it out. I think you did. But yeah. we never checked. We never looked hmm. at it. And you never sponsored it, man. You never. I never because I don't. I'm not on there. I don't even know how to use it. Can't you put like straight up titties on on, on Twitter? Oh yeah, you can watch porn on Twitter. Really? They don't give a flying fuck. Yeah. I think I'm gonna start a Twitter. Hmm. Yo, well, speak. you're late for that, motherfucker. Tweet, tweet. No, why? You're never late for titties. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Tees and pussies over here. And tees and peas. Oh, that's the, that's yeah. the real tees and peas over there in the, in the Twitter. <laughs> no, I forgot to tell you about the fucking Insties way. What happened? What? So, I'm on my Instagrams, Edward Perez, and the Insties go hell and follow me, you know. And I accept everybody because my my uh, my profile is uh, mm-hmm. is not private. It's free or whatever you want to call it. Public. Public. It's public. Yeah. That's the correct word. So, it's, so, it's, so it's pretty girl follow me, right? And I get all excited. I was like, "Oh shit, word!" And then you click. I clicked on her <laughs> to see Capello, and it's private. Yeah. So I'm like, "Oh shit, it's not a bot." That's saying like, "Oh fuck me" or whatever the fuck those those bots are, you know? Mm-hmm. Click on it, right? And, and I'm like, "All right, I'm a fr- send her a friend request. Send her a friend request, right?" She she responds back. I'm like, "Oh Capello," I'm like, "Oh shit, word!" I'm all excited. A couple of days later, she sends me a fucking email or a, a DM. So she slided on my DMs. And I'm like, oh, word, holy shit, right? I'm all excited. And she's cute, right? I think I, I think I think, oh, yeah, I unfollowed her. She's cute, right, boss? I'm not, oh, I'm, yeah. not I'm not gonna buy a last her, right? It's like, oh shit, I'm gonna... uh, well, Mexican the thing, yeah, Mexican. Her. <gasps> this is the whole Mexican. text, right? I was talking, right? And then yeah. <laughs> she's all like, hi, Edward, how are you? I think we share something in interest of you. Uh, would you be interested in improving some of your special aspects in your health? Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> would you like to lose weight and improve your physical performance? Some other special aspects regarding your health, such as fatty liver, e- control level of glucose, cholesterol, oh. and triglycerides, internal colon detox, recovery for surgery, diabetes, and thyroids. So th- <laughs> I love it. I love it. This bitch, fat. this bitch called me fat way. I was but in the so worst bad. way possible, I think. See way. She slid into my DMs way. She had me all happy. I was like, oh, yeah, I think I'll pay it, bro. Like, ah, someone like me. No, no. She basically called me fat very, very, very fucking politely way. I mean, it's her. It's my fault because I have lost around 50 pounds and I haven't posted a single picture on it. So that's my fault. I still got fatty pictures on there. So this 50 hoe, pounds? Yes. This hoe Merga. went into my fucking profile, saw my fatty pictures. He's like, this motherfucker needs she some might, of my what I She might be not real, man. I think she is because you won't, you won't, if you were a bot, you wouldn't be private, I don't think. Yeah, they could be private. I don't think she, like, her, her profile is private and then I, have like and then I go to the profile. I have, I have DMs too. The girl sent me, I know there's like porn shit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's like, that's like, I was talking to her. Yeah, I saw. I just, it just this one, I've, I've been talking to a bot before. This is not the first time that someone slid okay. in my DMs and it's different. But I was just offended. And then I go to her page and it's like, that was sad. A, a picture of her posing. I've been talking to uh-huh. a bot. She's like posing, talking, like she's chilling, and See. then the next picture, 
is like a, a weight loss story of like this guy weighed 86 kilos and now he weighs 85 so, and it's all guys and i'm like that's oh, bullshit those kilos you puta i was i was so pissed because <laughs> i was starting to feel myself you know i was like yeah no nah, fuck you yeah. i lost more weight on my own than yeah. any of these motherfuckers that she's been posting uh so i was just like oh you know i started to like spit game and then she didn't talk to me anymore i was like ah. Oh. <laughs> she's she, probably trying to sell you some she clothes. was trying to sell me some shit yeah. but she saw my fi- file thought i was fat as fuck yeah. and i was like this motherfucker needs something algorithm uh, i think but i do think she's legit i don't know some tell me that she, just the way she was writing yeah, okay uh but i, I whatever it could be a person writing it i mean but yeah she could be actually selling something yeah because a bot's not going to send me stuff right i don't know I was looking at the product and I was whatever. It was just funny to me. I was like, oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> a, a lady following because I'm cute. Nah, she following because you're fat and she's trying to sell you shit. <laughs> yeah. So that one hurt. Anyway, Halle Berry. Oh, Are we watching Bruised or what? Oh, yeah. Are you for us? Yeah. Yeah, it looked interesting. And I was like, oh, damn. I feel like this is one that's going to that's gonna fall to the wayside for you. I don't think you're actually going to watch it. Who, me? Yeah, you. Why not? It's Halle Berry tirando putazos, way. Yeah, but... I don't know. Some I watched me. Warrior, like, dude. Like, like, do you say it's the same story you heard about it? But yeah, this time but it's a girl. Didn't Warrior, wasn't Warrior Academy Award winning and shit? Yeah, I like that one. This is not Academy Award winning. Like I'm that. sorry, Halle Berry, you great actress, probably. It's not a million dollar baby movie, too. No. Damn. That what? was good. That was, that was Clint good. Eastwood. Yeah. You know? But I'm I mean, watching. But I mean, it's Netflix. Are you watching? You don't give a shit about I MMA. Put, I put him at least, but I mean. It's going to be in my list. <laughs> it's going to be sitting there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm not going to miss it, but I'm not going to watch it right away, you know? I, I will. I'd I will. rather watch Big Mel than Halle Berry yeah. get bruised, you know? Well. I mean, it's still Mika. Yeah, yeah, Halle Berry. And it's Halle Berry taking a hit, so. Yeah. Even more fun. It's kind of like the one that J-Lo made, right? How was it called? Hustlers? Oh, Enough. Enough, you know. Yeah. She did a fighting one. Yeah. Well, it's not well, a fighting. But it's she, not fighting. She trained, she, she's fighting I mean, her abuser. Yeah, that's right. She trained to fight back for her abuser. Like kind of. She literally girl trained. I mean, yeah. The movie, the movie. Right, but she trained in the movie to fight yeah. back her abuser. Yeah. She, yeah. yeah, she kicks yeah. her fucking ass. Movie? No. She I never even. Really she kicks no. her ass, man. Yeah. It's pretty good. Why don't you just pretty call good. the cops? Cause, cause the dude has influences. She will goes to the cop. End of the movie. You have, you have to watch the movie, dude. <laughs> Hello, this motherfucker gotta- punch me. Woo, dude. Mm. Got watch the movie. Is he a cop? Who? The guy who's punching her? Mm. No, no. But he, he he's has a, he's cops a in his pocket. Well, he has I think he's a lawyer. Yeah. yeah. Okay, hold on. When is this movie? What, how old is this movie? Two thousand nineties. Oh, okay, that's why. I think it's nineties. There wasn't an Me Me Too movie before. Late nineties, I think. There wasn't a Me Too. Girls so were not just like <laughs> saying that he's abusing me and then actually stuff happens. I mean, this oh, time no, it's different, actually... man. You could spit in the mouth and you get arrested. Oh, sure. It's 2002. <laughs> yeah. No, there's no there's no politically correctness back then. No. Or none of that. No, nah, this fucking movie's kind of rough. It's not he said, she said none of that. I never heard of that movie before. No? It's it's cool, actually. Really? She had yeah. short hair, I think. She cut her hair. And she I watched. I yeah, watched. she cut her hair. She looks wa- fucking cute. I watched U Turn. Um, Watch Made in Manhattan? U Turn. No, I, I, I said U Turn because there's T's and P's in that. That's a mix. Yes. Oh, shit. T's and P's. No, I haven't Jay seen it, so that's why I don't know. Low. Oh. Neta? Oh. Yes. Oh. I don't know why I fucking oh. hate her, but she's so fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> what is. Okay, now that you're in front of millions of people, why do you hate J Lo so much? We have a group chat, and I'm the only one defending yeah. it all the time. We don't have a group chat of J Lo. What do you mean? <laughs> Wait. Uh, don't, don't make me exposed. <laughs> Hold on. You hate J Lo? What the fuck? He hates J Lo. They all Why? do. Why? I don't hate her, man. What? The hate Neta, you what all does. do? Huh? What the fuck? You know what? I'm going to move on. Yeah. It's because be you it. might get canceled. Yeah. So you know you what? Let's talk, let's talk about another old fuck. Love you, J Lo. Mm-hmm. Go along with your life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Big ass. <laughs> Big ass. <sighs> Apex. Damn, J Lo. Get what? off a of U-turn. Get off a of U-turn. Come back. Come oh, back. She's getting, damn, Oscar son. Oscar performance. Come back. Holy Oscar shit. performance for J-Lo and U-turn. I would get her best actress right there, man. Verga, <laughs> wey. Well, she's better than Hustlers. She's acting like she's better taking it hard, dude. No mind Yeah. Oh, fucking Sean Penn, man. I might not hear that. Damn, episode. son. I apologize. 
Oh my god. Come back, okay. Felix. You're so, back. Apex? Apex. Felix, allergies? Yes. Come back to Earth. No Alle- allergies anymore. Allergy, okay. brothers. Bullshit. You've always I mean, I'm, I'm snotting, but it's not from a nose. <laughs> Are you allergic to, to dust and shit? Yeah. Okay. Fucking Santa Ana. Speaking of dust. AT. Yeah. Bruce Willis is. <laughs> 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 Apex, five elite oh. hunters paid to hunt down a man on a deserted island only to find themselves becoming the prey. That man that they're hunting is none other than dusty ass Bruce Willis. Uh, oh, the, this looks horrible. The hunters are Neil McDonough, and that's about all I know. Neil McDonough, where did I just see him? Uh, A lot of stuff. I know, but I just saw him this past week in something. Yeah. Oh, fuck. What the fuck did I just see him in? I Neil, what? I got it. I got it. I got he it. was on. Oh, the Resident Evil Rat Walk Raccoon City. Oh, Simon. Oh, American Horror Story. That's why right. he plays I- Eisenhower. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Eisenhower? Yeah. Oh, Simon. It's about aliens. Anyway, let's talk about this terrible, terrible, terrible movie, Apex. Oh, my God. So, you grew up in the 80s, right? Mm hmm. Bruce right. Willis, for you, action movies, he's top 10 all time. Action movies? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not talking I, about like Oscar yeah, yeah. performances. No, no. I think, yeah. Right? Not 80s and 90s, yeah. Or just just your lifetime, what you've seen. You're a fan of him. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to watch this one. You're not? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you are? <laughs> yeah, just to see. Did you saw the last terrible one? Didn't, yes. he, didn't he put out two or three cacas this yeah. year? Yeah. Damn. Two or three cacas, man. Is he trying to like beat uh, Nicolas Cage in caca mo- movies or yeah. what? Yeah. Damn. I mean... I don't think you can beat Nicolas Cage in Kaka because, oh my God. I mean, uh, Nicolas Cage, the last one that I saw, he was a good one. I think it was called Pig. Yeah, yeah, Pig. yeah. Because he thinks he, 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 like he does everything that he eventually gets a good one. Yeah. You know? Okay, but stay he, with he, Pig. He's, he recently said he, he will never stop acting. He loved acting. Who? Nick Cage. Oh, yeah. He said he's never, ever, ever going to retire. No. Oh, yeah. That's, 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 fine. that's, that's good. Damn. Yeah. If, uh, like, I mean, like, called Willie. Wonderland? Yeah. Willy's Willy's Wonderland. Oh, that's, that's a good one. That's a good But he didn't think it was, I don't think he thought that it was going to, he's not. I saw that one. It's called, what's it called? Mandy? That was Kaka. No, no, no. A lot that's of them are Kaka. It's like a cult. You have to rescue a, a guy's daughter. What's it called? I don't know. Kaka oh. as hell. Uh, something with the, with the, with the, with the, with the space. Hostage? No, 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 no. We're gonna slap it because hostage is a pretty cool movie. But it's not it's not hostage. It's um uh, is Bruce, it a space I started side seeing it uh, uh, because of the the portal. Oh Nicholas Cage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Prisoners ah, of the no, Ghost Ah no, yeah, Sequel. Yeah. Mm, that's Prisoners four, of the I, Ghost Line. Esa, esa. I, I fell asleep that twice one. watching that, that movie. Yeah, we that did one. we did the we did the trailer for that and we said I said it was gonna be caca. And it, oh, and it, and it yes. Is. And of course and, and the is. man fly that is Felix yeah. flew his ass over there you to watch it. watch it. You watch yes, it? Yes, I did. Yes. All of it? All of it. Me too. His his nuts one of his nuts explodes. Yeah, man. He gets it. No mam is what it was I was I slept, then I Rewound it, saw it. I was like, "Oh yeah. wow, I didn't miss shit." So I slept like half an hour. Keep kept watching it, and I was like, "Oh, I didn't miss yeah, shit." Just, I just it, missing like, in two parts to like sleep and yes. then watch the other day. <laughs> yeah. But I yeah, think it's, the the Mika from the movie is the one from the. Oh, what? Uh, the she's from the no, uh, no. She's from she's on What's the it? Mummy. Oh, and, it's and the exotic looking Mika. That's Sophia why. That, that's yeah, why, Sophia, yeah, yes, that, that one. one. That's the only thing I keep watching because of her. Yeah. Oh. She's fucking cute. He actually hey. laughs. He's nuts, dude. T's and P's he's going to hey, Charlize and that. What's that Charlize movie? Huh? What's that Charlize movie? Which one? Oh, yeah. Atomic yeah, yeah, yeah. Blonde. T's and P's and that one con ella, eh? T's and P's. T's and P's. Did I? Thoughts on prayers? Tits and P's. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. He rephrased the T's and P's, all right? Just for this episode. It's Tits and Puss. Sofia Botella, yeah, that one. Sofia Botella. She looks nice in that one. Hello. But I mean, oh, this is. Slide in my DMs and sell me something. I don't know why she should like read the script. Say, yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll make since, it. watch, since since 2018, mm-hmm. we got Looking Glass, 2 on 1, Teen Titans, that's a good one. Between Worlds, don't know. I'm talking about Nick Cage. Okay. Into the Spider Verse. Like, 
I oh, forget he's one. noir. That's my favorite movie of all time. A, sor- a score to s- settle. I thought you were talking about Color Out of Space. I saw that one too. Running mm, with the from Devil. The Llamas, right? The Llamas? I don't know. It's you a space. It? You see that one? Which one? I think he did. Color, Color Out of, of space. space? Yeah. Yeah, I watched it. Oh, yeah, with the alpacas. And the alpacas, yeah. I see, Mons, run. Yeah, I saw that one. I'm still in 2019. Running with the Devil, Kill Chain, Primal, Gra- uh, Grand Isle, Jiu Jitsu, the Cubs. <gasps> That's a good one. Prisoner Primal, of I, saw, I saw Primal. I think it's the one from the White Jaguar. White Jaguar. I haven't seen that one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we, these we, fucking hunting the thing. Yeah. Right? yeah we found, we found K. Jensen, the Jean yeah. Grey, oh, wow. the OG X Men. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Willie's Wonderland, that was a good one. Pig, which is a good one. Yeah. You saw it? I saw both Pig? of those. Yes. Yeah, Pig is a good Pig, one. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people like didn't it. like it, but it's, it's okay. I like it. Yeah. So he, good like, number. he has like a. He like, does three shits and then he he hits he hits with a good one. Yeah, like he makes ten, like four are good. But Bruce Willis, he's been in holy fuck one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's got eight credits for twenty twenty one. Midnight in the Switchgrass, Out of Death, Survive the that Game. That one is with Megan Fox. Okay, yeah. That's and, kind of Apex. Kind of like and Fortress is coming. Out of Death, I don't remember which one. Cosmic Preach. Sin was, but they're they're all caca way. Like yeah. Cosmic oh. Sin is a guy that one. That one is something I will not watch. I saw Out of Death. I think. Okay, Literally. he was in Glass in 2019. That's okay. Bruce Willis, Death Wish. Is that a good one? Death, Death Wish? Wish. Yeah, I've heard of that one. Yeah, me too. No. No, I haven't seen it. No, caca. It's caca. He, I mean, he plays. I think they both kind of do. They're playing themselves in these movies. Which ones? Bruce Willis and Nicolas Cage. They're playing themselves. It's not like Margot Robbie where you every character is different and you're seeing a different performance and you're seeing different colors every time, you know? I mean, they're playing themselves. You, you say that they're playing the same character every movie. Right. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. 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 Kind of, yeah. Kind of. He doesn't talk in Pig, right? Who? Uh, Nicholas yeah, Cage, not much, barely, yeah, yeah. and then he doesn't talk at all in Willy's Wonderland. No. Oh, but that was gorgeous. I know, but that, but it's that is so bad is good though. That's not winning any Oscars. No, no, no. But that's so bad that us geeks love it. Mm-hmm. Does he talk in the Ghostland one? Yes, yeah, he does. Yes, he does. Yeah, he not probably, much, but he does. Okay, so <sighs> he's he's playing the brute grunty guy and everything now. So is Bruce Willis. He's playing the old fuck that can kill you. Still, yeah. I never thought Bruce Willis was a great actor. Shots fired. <laughs> he's great in what he's, he does, he's, which is Die Hard. He was a good action actor back then. Eighty-eight Die Hard. Yeah, back then because the, yeah, in the uh, that was more... the shit. That was the shit. You know the pews and the explosions and shit. You know it was you know Arnold Sylvester. Yeah, this is this guy. is this is your area of expertise. Ben Dam, Steven but, Seagal, all those dudes. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but doesn't he talk less the the newer the movie? Who? Bruce Willis, because the la- the the last movie I saw from him was I think was oh damn, which one? I can't remember now. But these the latest movie he's done, yeah, he's talked way less. Be- yeah. Again, they're, because there's still action movies. But, but some, he, he some, had some of them, he's not the main actor, hard. you know? Some of them, he's not the main actor. Well, yeah, you, that's true. But the, again, they're still all Motherless Brooklyn. I don't even remember him being in that. And I watched that Fuck movie. That? Yeah? Yeah. It's the Ed Morton one where he's oh, stuttering. Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't remember. I think he just plays a mobster. But he's just like grumpy old guy, you know? He, w- he was great in Die Hard and all the bloom plums and explosions in yeah. the 90s. Pulp Fiction. Armageddon. All that shit. Right? Last Man Standing. You haven't seen one? You haven't seen one? Last Man Standing? Mm-mm. I don't no. remember. The Cowboy one? I don't remember. Early, early mm. 80s, Ooh. I think. From 96? I love it. Yeah, been that one. Hustling. I might have. I think I did and I think I didn't like it. No, why? Because I don't remember. <laughs> I think have, I did. Have you seen the Netflix, the movie that made us? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you you seen the Die Hard one? I think I did. Yeah. So he wasn't gonna be the main actor. And Die Hard? Yeah. He was. Oh yeah. Because he was in a comedy sitcom. Right. Wasn't yeah, he, he was dancing? He was a TV actor. Yeah. yeah. Was he, he was a TV actor? So dancing with a cartoon. Yeah. So someone bet on him, and it was a box office back then, man. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not taking anything. It's fucking John okay, McCain. Yeah, yeah, motherfucker. Yeah. Right, 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 McLean. Right, right. McLean, John McLean. What did I say? McCain. McCain. Oh, my bad. I was, I was <laughs> doing other things. It's John away. McCain. I'm being. I'm being silly. Um, there's some pieces away. Um, oh yeah, he's been dead, homie. Um, Sounds like. But again, he's he's none of them are great actors. None of the ones you mentioned are great actors. Why are you thinking, Cabron? Arnold Schwarzenegger is not a great actor. I'm not saying they're great actors. But you're thinking about it. They're not like Oscar <laughs> performance <laughs> movies. No, 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 no. Even if I mean, they're they're better actors than some of this uh, this time, man. No. Yes. I don't think so. Because Bruce Willis then is better than John Cena. You know what? No. Yes. I think no they're about the same. Movies? They're about the same. John Cena's I think playing John Cena's the same better. Guy. John Cena's playing the different same guy. John Cena's been acting since as long as he has. I know because he's played roles in the wrestling. Mm-hmm. I know. Oh, but, neta. But movie wise, action, <laughs> I think is better Bruce Willis than John Cena. Dude, Bruce Willis was in that 70s show. Bruce Willis was in Friends too. Oh yeah, I remember that one. It's do, Bruce do Willis. You, do you think that John Cena would make good a good uh, John McClane? Part? Yeah. No, no. John McClane. No, no, no. I Clean. Mean, like Clean. Pull fiction. Pull John Cena and Bruce Willis no. part. You don't think John Cena can play a fighter? No, nah, but oh hell yeah, no, but, but okay. I don't but know. The drama. I mean, the acting that part. I bet you he could. John yes. Cena, he could just punches like the Rock. I mean, he's John Cena a is a better actor than The Rock, and Batista is a better actor than both of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I yes, agree. You're I fucking agree. true. Yeah. Batista, true. yeah. Acting wise, yeah. We're acting, but John Cena is just starting in movies. In movies, yeah. Acting, <laughs> and he's already the fucking peacemaker. Oh, a huge suicide squad. because. And what they was the wrote best in for him? You know, there's some act- acting roles they wrote for some. Actors. Right, because now we're in a time where a random action star is not just going to pop out of your ass anymore. Did you know, transport your ass to, what was it? 88. Die Hard. Did you know who Bruce Willis was? No. Okay. That's not ever, ever going to happen anymore. Because I was eight years old, man. In 88, I, was, I didn't watch it. I was six years, man. <laughs> Until late nineties. Okay, when you watched it, did you know who Bruce Willis was? No. Okay, that's my point. Neither do you. <laughs> I knew who Bruce Willis was. I just saw the fucking Die Hard probably like five years ago. <laughs> because it's two it's different times. That's what I'm saying. So now you get the name of the person and then you build a movie around them. There were instances where they did that back now, back then also. But you're talking about action movies where it's an up and comer, new, brand new, shiny guy. No one's ever heard about it. And it's a movie about a boxer that the pro motherfucker directed and wrote himself. And it's a little film called Rocky that nobody wanted. Yes. And 70, whatever the fuck. Yeah. That's not going to happen no more. Not with action movies. It could happen with drama. It could happen with maybe like yeah, yeah, sitcoms. Yeah, yeah. Or it could happen for females who like other stuff like Promising Young Woman, even though she didn't, the, the main actress. But that's what, but it's, it's different. But is different action stars a spontaneous birth of a random action star is not going to happen ever ever again they're tiktok star movies way of oh, remakes see, see. watched it Bonita, see, we. a lot of fucking remakes <laughs> right 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 which we're, we're gonna get to a little more but, yeah, but, but i mean <laughs> like you say that they build movies around the act the, the actor the actor but why because there are no more people, just random stars anymore. That's just not how they, they're not looking for a so random the, the, person. The young, the young, um, ¿cómo se dice? Actors? No, no, no. Talent. They're no good. No, it's because you have millions of dollars. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. You're gonna make a movie about a Tijuanense boxer, right? Are you gonna get Pepito who works at the fucking Oxo? Huh? Or you're gonna get Diego Luna to play your guy. Diego Luna. Okay, why? Because he's an actor. And he has a name. He has a name that guy's yeah. been acting for twenty years and plays and but you don't know him. No. Okay. Well you're gonna get you're gonna go for the name. You're always gonna go for the name. In the eighties, it was different. Yeah. That's why I'm in that era of like boom, all of a sudden and Arnold started being a buff guy. 
Arnold is like the OG Hercules. Instagram model Toss. that be, that that made it. <laughs> <laughs> but there was no I'm Instagram. You would got him on interviews in sixty sixty. He's like, ah, 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 island or whatever the fuck. Arnold and then cut back Pero, to him being a governor. Did you know that the role of Reese in Terminator was written for him? And he wanted he won the part from Terminator. Arnold. He's, and James go, hey, I got no lines. I want, I want to be Terminator. And but he was already Conan before that. Oh, Conan. No. Yes. yes. No, I know what I mean, but talking about the Terminator franchise. Right. He made a comic, Terminator. I th- I don't think there will be no more. No, I'm nobody else Terminator. can play Terminator. No. Right. Mm-mm. No, 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 no. I mean, there's been other but, Terminators. There's been a lady Terminator, but it's not but the same. thing you said, the character was built around him. Right. It's going to be Reese, but he But I'm down. saying even Arnold wasn't an actor. No. Arnold was the first John Cena who started in something else. Water no, that's building? not true. That's not no. true. They've all do- They've all done that. Bruce Willis didn't he start? Didn't he want to sing first? I, I thought he wanted so. to be a singer first. I think so. I don't oh, know what the fuck I'm talking about. Fuck. Anyway, the point is the point is that Bruce Willis sucks. He's old. <laughs> no, he doesn't. I'm. So, what I'm gonna he's get at? He's getting shitty movie. I mean, he's not getting. He could say no. He it's Bruce Willis. Uh, I know, man. He's got the 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 name. If he, he wants to sit he, down and write something for change, himself, change change for another agent, man. Hire his agent. I don't even. I don't know. I don't know how Hollywood works. I think you he have just, to have an agent. agent I know, but he just he just takes whatever comes to him, and that's fine. That's their job is to act. He yeah, he's he have to pay bills. Yeah, I he doesn't so. care if Apex is any good. I know. He and made it's a, it. <laughs> it's a dusty ass old guy hunting younger people that are underestimating the dusty ass old guy. Yeah, I it's not that. nothing new. Why no, are we? Nothing new. Is he gonna make his money back? Probably not. Is Netflix? No. No, 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 no. Not even. Theater? No. Camp was, it has to be theater. I don't think so. But the, the era of the spontaneous action star, that shit's dead, I think. It's never, ever going to happen. You have to have a name. You already have to have an audience behind you, you know, making sure that whatever you make is going to sell. And that sucks. Right? But there are a lot of underdogs movies that... They can recognize and they have fame, you know? Like but, what? Like, I mean, La Vida es Bella. You don't know about that guy who made the movie. He, made, he won an Oscar. I think he's Italian. I know, but he was probably, in, that wasn't probably his first movie. I know. A Beautiful Life. He was doing Beautiful something life. else before. Acting. Right. So we can we can have stuff, foreign stuff, like Squid Game. Are we going to see them in action movies in America? Probably not. We're never no. going to see them ever again. Well, speak for yourself. I'm saying in anything else. <laughs> yeah. Right? <laughs> Other than those fucking green track suits. That's it. I mean, I'm never going to see who that. Who knows? Lady. Now America's making Asian movies like Shang Chi. Who knows? I know, but they're a full blown Korean. We're not, we're not going to see that. Oh, no, the Koreans and the Chinese hate them, hate each other. Thought it was Japanese. Which one? Every every Asian Korean? hates each other. Squid Game. Squid Game is Korean. Yeah, yeah. Imagine a Squid Game, Mexican Squid Game, man. Hala, verga! Everybody's gonna die. <laughs> you know? Nah, they would figure out a way to cheat the system, in, real you quick. Know? Yeah. You were here, way, quemados, way. Chingalo, chingalo. Stop. <laughs> stop. Stop. <laughs> el, um, el Valero. El bebel. I have five el, times. El, yeah. El Valero. Yeah. Puto. We play trompos. Um, anyhow. But yeah, you, what I was trying to get at too uh, is that you're from the 80s. Mm-hmm. Why do people from the 80s <laughs> fucking love all those people you mentioned so much? We? Because we grew up with them, man. Okay, so? It's the same that you like. Tina, the same way you like Margot Robbie, the same way you like Gal Gadot. It's your time, man. You can compare Gal Gadot with fuck. You can compare Gal Gadot's titties with Sylvester Stallone's titties. No, no, I want. So I'm seeing better. the era. I don't. It has, it I don't have, have any to be man and woman. No, no, I don't have any. I don't think I. I like anybody as much as you guys love those guys. Child, Everybody from Chadwick the- Boseman. Hey, rest in peace. You you like him? Yeah, he's from your time. You have seen, I was already. You, you've seen every movie from him. But I was already a grown ass man. I didn't grow up with him. Who well, you grew up with, Barney? That's right. I grew up with fucking Barney and Power Rangers. Shit. Mario is my homie. 
But I mean, there's got to be an actor you grew up with, you probably like, or actress. I don't think I don't think I do. Do you, fool, Felix? What? Do you have an actor that you can put up against with their Stallone and the Cage too from our time? Cage, Cage and all these motherfuckers who are like, Travolta, that's my guy. Bandan, but that you grew up Al Pacino, with. Robert that De Niro. I grew up with? Yeah. Holy that's shit. That's the thing. I, De Niro. I, De Niro, Pacino. No, because I grew up watching those guys. That's the thing. But you don't like them as much as they do. No. No. I, I mean, anybody I'm from ten, the 80s. I'm 10 years late for that, but. Maybe because that's where they started in the eighties. I don't know. It's just a, a, I a mean, weird guys, fascination. There's guys you, you, you like too, like yes, Sam Jackson, Denzel Washington. Did not grow up watching motherfucking Sam Jackson, or as Bubble calls him, Sam Black Guy. <laughs> okay, I didn't grow up watching Sam Black Guy. Uh, that's I true. didn't. I didn't appreciate those names until later Not on. Only because life. you were some other stuff like gaming, perhaps. I'm right. more like more movies. Than gaming. And then there's stuff where I can appreciate it, right? Mm -hmm. Like, I can appreciate Bruce Willis and Die Hard. That shit's great. Yeah. Right? I can appreciate Terminators 1 through 3. Even 3 is a little iffy. We had no business watching those movies. Back to the Future. I remember watching Conan and the Terminator. When I watched Conan, that was a mind probably like Love. Geek, geek, geeky movies from the 80s right now. I mean, oh, like, hell yeah. Like Back to the Future. But see, I've never even seen Back to the Future. Hold on. What the fuck? I need to, hold on. I, I jumped. I've you? been I'm late. In. I've been late to the Say, fucking movie. I've I never seen you them. Really watch those. No, no, no. I've never fuck seen them. Fuck you. Never seen them. It's because I got in really late into like the movie. Yeah, because games movie, are your thing. Yeah, the movie like world where you watch everything every week. This is very new to me. I've only done this. I'm eight, kind of eight shocked. Years now. What? That I'm ne- to dig in. Digging in. I've the, never the gone movie? back to watch movies until probably 10 years ago. So I've seen everything Not from even. 10 years ago or whatever. I, right? Wasn't that like a recent development that you started watching, rewatching movies again? No, I, I don't rewatch movies. I'm saying going back in time, oh, okay, 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 watching okay. movies from before I was born. Oh, oh okay. Mm. So I mentioned the list, right? I Him just rewatching the, the list. Yeah, we no going we, back. Uh, we brothers. Yeah, he's he's got three. Uh, he's got two other brothers that are about the same age, and every time they bring up these same fucking people, and it's like three against one, right? It's three lions against one right, fucking raped. bear. <coughs> Mechanical palo, right? And they were the originators. Of Keep what? doing it, boss. Keep doing it. I was the originator the of the list. I was like, what are the movies that I should watch? 350 movies later, I'm still trying to scratch at that movie, at that list. But the list, uh, the Aren't movies that they would way? give me are everything from the 90s. In two, in, 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 in 80s and 90s. They would never give me anything bef- af- before the 90s. I had to go well, and back in time and do that on myself to look before, for something. Before the 80s. Right, before well, that the 80s. Was, that was... 70s and shit. Eight, right. And, and I kind of get it now because I, I was watching a podcast with Tarantino and he said that part of the 80s were like uh, they censored themselves and and there was like a before and after and the there were the 50s and the 80s. But the 90s, that's when they went balls to the wall. So I get why they told you to see movies from the 90s. I know, but Die Hard came out in 88. We were born in 91. Oh yeah. So when did you watch Die Hard? When you were a kid and you caught it on TV? I don't. I don't like to watch. Oh yeah, I watched it when I was like five, okay. six, maybe. I was playing Donkey Kong. I was playing Mario Party. I was going outside and learning how to catch a ball. Can you catch a ball with a glove, bro? Yeah. Asking Felix. Oh, oh yeah, I can. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. He can scratch his balls. He can scratch his balls. <laughs> they're big as but they're as big as baseballs. Mm-hmm. And hairy, but. Damn. When was the last time I showed them to you? I can smell them. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I just, it's a recent thing where I went back to watch stuff. And, I, and I actually, in this channel, I have, I'm going to start putting out FOMO reviews. I did it recently with the whole series of The Sopranos. Have you seen The Sopranos? Damn. The movie? No. The series? The whole fucking oh, series. No, I haven't seen it. Then eat my ass. All right. <laughs> Talk to me Do you about know shit. Who, who was the main guy to pursue us to see these kind of movies when we were little? My dad. Besides your dad? 
I don't know. One of our uncles that nobody else knows. Our uncles, man. Okay. Uncle Que, Uncle Miguel. But they didn't do that with me, bro. Uncle, that, that's why we like those kind of movies because of them. Okay, you know? so Every time we then go visit you them, fucked up. We go visit that bubbles. That was my mom for me. We go visit bubbles. Your mom's like, you gotta watch Die Hard. <laughs> We no, she, she was like, <laughs> "Look, this is what we, we, sometimes happen. We go visit bubbles and fucking Ado. and cousins. Yeah, and my uncle goes, "Hey, you want to <laughs> see? Let's go to the movies and rent. You know, that was, back then you go back to a movie and he always pick up commander, was a local the local VHS the, spot, yeah, the commander ones, the Rambo ones, all that kind of shit. Okay. And Uncle Miguel was the one who introduced me the Predator one. Mm. Oh, the way, like bunch the of movie. uncles. Well, yeah. that was on you, bro." I like it. I pick it up and I like it. No yeah. fuck face. Ooh. That's all, that's your job to do that to us. You guys didn't do that. You have to at least right now. Yeah, I'm You're almost only living in the United States, motherfucker. I, you didn't live here. I've been living here for 25 years, you fucking liar. Yeah, but the time with the with the same age that we did. I'm damn near 30. This just happened, you bastard. Eight years ago. <laughs> <laughs> right. When it happened at least like five years. A while ago. Yeah. It, so that was on you. So this the reason that I haven't seen shit is your fault. My point is because we are like Arthur, motherfucker. Because I'm fucking four years old. Yes, I like Arthur. You gonna tell me you were four like in R Rambo? Anton, huh? That's why y'all motherfuckers were crazy too. Why? <laughs> y'all y'all motherfuckers were wild. Those busters, man. I haven't seen that. What the and then right because it's been so many years. When I say I haven't seen it, is that I haven't sat down. Press play, watch, watch the whole thing. Okay. Of course, I've seen the Marshmallow Puff Man because my dad's watching. He's like, "Get your ass over here, watch this motherfucker blow up and jizz everywhere on the city." Mm -hmm. I've seen that. <laughs> I've heard so much of Back to the Future. I feel like I've seen him, but I have not it's sat not, down. You should, press you play. I know I'm going to, and I'm going to review it. And it's going to be right here on their channel. They're going to be called Former Reviews, just like the Sopranos ones right now. I watched the whole fucking series. I How went many seasons are there? Eight. How many episodes? Ten. That's not the long. No, thirteen. Thirteen. Thirteen episodes per season. I went back because it's FOMO. I would have a fear of missing out. That's where that whole the whole list started from. Y'all talk about every time you guys get together. Oh, like in whatever the fuck, and I don't know what the fuck you guys are talking about. And then somebody else comes in. Even your sisters know more about those movies than I do. <laughs> and I'm like, what? I, they, they saw it with us, man. Right. Yeah, I, I was like, I was gonna say, look who they grew up with. But again, you you are hypocr you're hypocritical. You're hypocritical. Now Mel Gibson too. Mel Gibson one. Uh, Mel Gibson was another one, but he stopped. You know, he's the same as Nick Cage, 90s. but he's chilling out. Yeah. But you're hypocritical too. Why? Because you haven't seen anything since before you were born. Why should I? <laughs> That's what you're asking me to do. But my, Die, oh, but my movies are. Uh, oh. See, that's, that's, I what I see. See. that's what I wanted to get at. I don't want to see, see black and white shit, man. No, see, that's what I wanted to get at. <laughs> Everybody from the 80s is so fucking, uh, what do you call it? Um, arrogant about it. Mm. Uh. That they, why should I? My shit's better than everybody else. I had to no, forego my ego because I, no. I thought Sandlot was the greatest shit I've ever seen in my fucking life. <laughs> Sandlot is great. And I had to I go. Love, I love Sandlot. But it's not better than any of your shit. So my point is you're saying your shit is better than everybody I mean, else's shit. I mean, it's not like you're not going to put Sandlot up there before all the other movies. It's a different kind of movie. I grew up with Sandlot. That's good. You like sports, man. I know. I cry with Rudy. That's the only movie I cry Rudy. with. Rudy. Yeah, Rudy. But that's my point. Everybody from the 80s Lose me. says that the 80s and early 90s is the best shit ever. But they're so arrogant about it, right? They don't have they don't they don't have the 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 uh Curiosity. self the, or the self-awareness to be like, let me go back and actually watch mm -hmm. some other shit to actually compare. They're like, "No, it's this is my shit and my shit's better." And you just said it. It's like a, a, some self righteousness that comes with people who are fandoms of the '80s, and we're talking about motherfuckers who are doing splits on a fucking van, on, on cars, and a, and a motherfucker with a chasing somebody else with a with a Ariana Grande fucking ponytail. <laughs> don't, don't diss Van Dam. I'm dissing Van Dam, and I'm dissing Seagal. Both of them. You better not the talk thing about is, Steven well, Seagal, too, man, you son I mean, of a bitch. What do you back, care about Steven Seagal? He's dumb and stupid. Okay, what? thank you very much. Why? I love him. Oh. 
I love Steven Seagal. <laughs> Those movies don't translate. And his, sh- the, his newer movies are complete and utter shit. For instance, I don't know I why mean, I love that Back then, they put out a lot of publicity of those kind of movies, you know? Mm-hmm. I didn't watch oh, no dramas I because of my age. <clears throat> I, I didn't have to watch... I, 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 didn't, I didn't watch Sign of the Lambs. Those kind of movies, they're great movies. But for Shawshank my age, Redemption, when I brought that up, y'all looked at me like I was a fucking alien. For my age, the movies I could see <laughs> is those kind of movies, man. Y'all looked at me fucked up when I was like, Shawshank Redemption, you're like, what is that? Like, what... Regarding the <laughs> top five greatest movies of I all mean, time. I didn't saw The Godfather until late, man. I mean, The Godfather is one of the best movies ever, man. Oh, I saw or that not. when I was a kid, actually. That's or, probably the oldest movie you guys mm, watched. No, probably some. No. Serpico is older. Scarface, I think, is. No. No. I don't think Serpico is either. The Deer Hunter is older. Maybe. 78, I think. Serpico I mean, we see, 73. We see movies, man. I mean, not like you, like. Back to the fifties and Casablanca, Man, and all that shit. I went Lost back, back, main. back, back, back. I went to because to, you, on the water probably front. because for FOMO the twenties, right? right? You don't want to miss out those kind of movies too, right? It's FOMO. I gotta yeah. see Citizen Kane. That's regarded as the best movie of all time. I want to see why. I don't think I, it is because it's been fucking a hundred years and it doesn't really. But back in the day, huh. there's still shots and the way that it's moving, and there's still other stuff that. You're like, okay, for that time, it's pretty crazy. But n- you've seen 40,000 movies now. You go watch Back Citizen and King, you're like, it's whatever. There's it's some just, Alfred Hitchcock shit, the way he shoots and the way he uses everything else. You're like, fuck, nobody's doing this shit now. Even now, some Alfred Hitchcock shit is like, okay, he, the, all the hype behind Alfred Hitchcock, or I'll bow down. Because the way he sets up settings, the way he uses other sounds to influence the scene, yeah. the way the sh- scenes are shot and, and, and are fixed, and how background is telling one story and the foreground is telling a different story. Mm-hmm. That shit's crazy, right? Same with uh, Kubrick. Stanley Kubrick. Yeah, they're great directors. They have the ambition of making movies. Right. I don't that's like why, that his movie is seven hours long, right? Uh, he was but every, Clock, Clockwork Orange Clockwork but, Orange A Space Odyssey yeah. Eyes Wide Shut you know. and I went back and watched all those motherfuckers all of them right I missed a few there's you know Back to the Future sorry and you saw I skipped that movie because of the director and that's not because of the actors because I heard about it I just googled I know, I know but who's famous in, in, in the clock the main guy the old guy what's his name Sir Francis Fuck. something Sir, damn. I, mean, I don't know. He's been in the game for a long time. I don't know his name. I apologize. But the main actor, uh, Eyes Wide Shut, isn't that Tom Cruise? No, I'm thinking yeah. about something else. Tom, yeah, it's Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman. Malcolm McDowell. That's who I'm thinking about. When they were still together. I mean, for some movies, they have actor names, but you watch it because of the director, you know? Like, yeah. For, uh, when I went back, I didn't give a fuck who was in there. I, I didn't know. I didn't know Christopher Walken was in Deer Hunter when you guys told me. Really? I didn't know Dorito, D- De Niro was in it. I never heard <laughs> of Dorito. 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 Fucking trainer. Robert Dorito. Um, I don't think I remember have, knowing that he was in there. But I've heard of Deer Hunter, and my dad would pull me in to see the fucking Russian roulette scene. Damn. Meta. Watch it, watch, 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 watch. And then I'll, and then I'll turn mean, around and run out I and mean, play baseball. My Uncle John is, I mean, I love, I love my uncle. And he's, he's from the, probably he thinks about the same. Right. And he's from, you know, he took us to saw Terminator 2 in the theater, man. Right. Species, man. Titties. Never seen Species. No? No. I don't think I did. Natasha Hendricks is the girl? First titties I saw was in Storm's. Uh, Starship Troopers that he brought the VHS for and he was like watch this and I was like alright giant cucarachas pa alright I'll watch giant cucarachas <laughs> giant alien cucarachas and then oh T's and P's yeah. um, species though man but yeah it's just a weird thing about 80's people who will kill you and defend to life their shit but they don't respect anything before or after it. It's just a funny thing. You guys are the same way. My uncle is the same way. One of my uncles is the same way. Uh, what do you consider your age? What do you mean my age? Your movie. Early 2000s. Early 2000s. When everything was caca. What's and it's caca. caca. It's caca. No. You don't think the fucking Fantastic Fours was caca? The Matrix Hulk? is caca? See, I didn't see the Matrix. <sighs> I did now. until Because of the list. I was, just, almost, I was almost gonna throw my microphone. <laughs> I did. I haven't seen a lot of shit. Oh, I have now. 
Enemy of the State, the Men in Blacks. I saw nah, the Men in Blacks. And I don't say shit because that's the same thing because, hey, have you played this? Have you played this? I'm going to say no. Right. Look at the that's stack why I don't of say all shit. The, and this is in the past 10 years. Right? I'm still missing more. I mean, I haven't played the, uh, those many games. Okay. I mean, okay. And that's not just two hours. Each case, it's at least 10 hours each of those cases. All right? So, your face. So, 10 hours, you can see five movies there, man. But I'd rather shoot motherfuckers in Western, you know, in the, or controlled motherfuckers in... Or be a god and kill all the gods. Isn't that dope? Doesn't yeah. sound that sound nice? Kratos, yeah. Be a god and just kill all the gods. Oh <sighs> Fuck what they talking about. But yeah. Bruce Willis. I'm, but <laughs> I, 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 I do want to watch. It's just impossible. But I am going to now with these formal reviews. Be on the check. Be on the lookout I mean, for that. A lot of these movies are Netflix. Yeah, I know. But then there's two new ones coming out the same, like... I mean, you and have Disney. to watch it. You could put in the release. Watch it later. Yeah. And then there's Double O. And then there's Venom. And then everybody's talking about this random ass shit called Squid Game. And then there's this other indie one that nobody's talking about. And then is Which it, one? Uh, we'll, we'll talk about it. Okay. And so it's kind of hard to keep up. That's oh, why man. I made... That's why I'm going to force myself with... I want to see FOMO, 7. With FOMO reviews coming to his channel. Let me fucking promote... No shit. God damn it. You watching this shit? Yeah, you say yeah, huh? Which one? Apex. Well, it's in the fucking free. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, your, your brothers would be interesting to get in here and argue about that too because it, it's a real thing, you know? I mean, if it's, it's going to be a Bruce Willis and Nick Cage movie that could come out the same day, I'd rather watch Nick Cage. But you're eventually watching all of it. Huh? Which one? Like, that's why, and I haven't even seen these either, but that's why the Expendables are so amazing for you guys because all those motherfuckers are in that one movie. Just the first one is the good one. And then they keep putting new people in there. Wasn't Rhonda in that I think one the of the second was also fun. Did she. Uh, the the be first a, two are cool. The, the third just, one was they're they're just, They're just shooting the last one. Who's in there? Is that my, my wife in that? Uh, the new one? Yeah, so somebody was going to be in the new one. I don't know. It's going to be the fourth one, right? Yep. I wouldn't yeah, know. fourth one, yeah. See, I don't care, so I haven't seen those either. Oh, yeah. The, you can watch the first one. That's a novelty. The second one is, is pretty fun. The, thing the third is, one, just shit. The you can is, skip this I, I, I kind of have OCD okay. like you. If I'm going to watch them, I'm going to watch them all. The well, ones? shit. And we're gonna re- we're gonna rehash this conversation in in in, in two trailers. But let's let's <laughs> move it on with this next one. Uh, the Black Phone. This is an interesting trailer. Uh, this is starring Ethan Hawke. He also dropped another trailer, but the other one was kind of boring, and I wasn't interested on it. But Ethan Hawke, be hustling. You feel me? Mm-hmm. But the black phone is about after being abducted by a child killer and locked in a soundproof basement, a 13 year old boy starts receiving calls on a disconnected phone from the killer's previous victims. Uh, the killer's played by um, Ethan Hawk, which I like because we usually see him and he's always the good guy. Yep. So I like him being like a even. More, t- I was getting Joker vibes a little bit. Me too. I thought too, yeah. Maybe because thought, he comes out with white face. Yeah. And like, but he, he's did, being, did you hear the little laugh that they have? Yeah, but yeah. he had a little laugh. Give me Joker vibes too. I wouldn't mind to transport to, to get my uh, dimension gun and shoot my dimension gun and go to a dimension where Ethan Hawke plays uh, Joaquin Phoenix's Joker. That'd be interesting. I don't know if he has the range, but I think it would be cool. I mean, he's yeah, a very universe. good actor. He's great. Yeah. But again, he, uh, we're so used to seeing him being the good guy. I, the reason why I want to watch this movie is to see how he plays the bad guy. Um, While, while I was watching this, I was like, this kind of looks like that other movie. And then it said in the damn trailer by the same people behind mm-hmm. Sinister. And I was like, oh, yep. yeah. In training day. I don't know. He was in training day. Yeah. Seen training day. I think I did. What do you mean? Yeah. If it doesn't watch Detail. Uh, but no, we're talking about um, Sinister. When the fuck did Sinister come out? Hold on, I'm looking for uh, 2012. 
Wow. We, talk, years. we talked that we talked that uh, we talked about that a little while ago because it was by science picked as the scariest movie of all time. Sinister? According to science, yeah. I did shit in my pants when I saw it, and that was the middle of the fucking day. Yeah, this one was this one was creepy because of the character, you know? That serial killer guy is creepy. And but, he kind of looks like the demon from Sinister. Yeah. Um But I thought that was good. this was gonna be something cheesy. Well, not, well, not cheesy, but I thought there was this. It started with giving me the the vibe of um, Lovely Bones, like mm. they're gonna kill the kid and whatever. But then the phone rang, and I was like, "Oh shit!" Yeah, I'm that's t- that, that's in the moment of the trailer. You were like, "Oh, okay, okay, mm-hmm, okay, exactly. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool." But it looks like sinister, like like old VHS kind of filter. And it has the same feeling. Like, it could be the same universe. And I like that Ethan Hawke is also... It's set up in the 60s, no? Uh, I don't remember if there was if was any time. I or don't like, think so. Like, yeah, but I mean... I don't think so. Or like 80s. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, it does look very <laughs> like old. old. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, you watching this, fool? Hell yeah. See, I believe you when you say this one. Yeah, you watch See, it. We're... I'm gonna watch this. Yes, yeah, yeah. Because of Sinister, I didn't like Sinister too, though. I haven't seen that one. I'm just keeping it with the first one. You can you can skip it. That one's yeah. that one's forced. That one was kind of like, okay, I know what you're trying to do, but uh, I'm I'm alright. I don't actually. When when I saw the Blumhouse, I was like, okay, yeah. This, this, That's okay, what this. I can tell you, Blumhouse. Uh, it's the shit. Does all just horror movies? For the most part, yeah. They're behind yeah, a actually, lot of the horror movies. And actually, he's he's working on this weird ass vampire movie that has me pumped. They just put out so much of it. it they're like the Nicolas Cage of movie production, where they just put out some of some of them are caca, but some of them are really good. I think they're also behind Get Out and some other thing with Monkey Paul. Mm-hmm. Um, they're behind the, seen, the Halloweens. Have you oh, seen yeah. the Oat Studio shorts? No, they, they just. I think that it was earlier in the month or late September. They just came to Netflix, mm-hmm. but they came back. They they were on YouTube for a long time, and I just rewatched them. And that was supposed to be like a like a, a starting platform, like just spitballing ideas. Yeah, and some of them are actually pretty fucking good. Well, they I they mean, have to have some kind of eye, you know. Like you can't yeah. just put out caca and. Like they're successful, but their success comes from spending almost no money to make a movie and then make tripling their money, right? Oh hell yeah! <clears throat> so this that's the, good business, right? It's not crazy effects. It's like an oak. Like in the case of this movie, it's a basement. Mm-hmm. You know, they're not really using a whole lot of special effects. It's a fucking bottle, and they're spinning it like it's nothing crazy. And then they would triple their money because the movies look very interesting. And enticing, you want to figure out what the fuck's going on, and creepy and scary. I like Blumhouse a lot. We like we we support here, uh, but this looks very cool. Y'all down? Hell yeah! Hell yeah! I don't see no. I can't tell when this exactly is from. I guess from the seat. Look at the yeah, car. Yeah, look, from the old cars. The old car stuff. looks old as fuck. Yeah. So I'm gonna say sixties, just like you said. No, I'm probably eighties. Yeah, eighties. Eighties. Fucking eighties. I hate this. Uh, we got a couple more trailers I said we were going to touch upon the remix and here it is Uh, I hate remix and I will die hating remix until there are remix that I care about and that I like this one I'm indifferent about it wait 10 years then talking about Scream now it pisses me off that it's called Scream not Scream Cinco nothing else just scream, a just new one? just like the first uh, one. Yeah. So it makes you think that it's a new one. No, it's the same shit. So it's a new installment of the Scream horror franchise that will follow a woman returning from her hometown to try and find out who has been committing a series of vicious murders. Get your fucking ball your fists. I have not seen any of the Scream movies. The only Scream movies I've seen are the fucking not another Scream. Oh, what's, what's the Scream movies called? Scary movies. Scary movies. I yeah. saw those. I'd rather watch the, those than. Scream, man. I haven't watched Scream either. Okay, so I'm not alone. Fuck all no. y'all. Um, 
You haven't seen these then, boss? Yes. No. Oh, you have. I saw the first one and the second one. You said there was four of them, right? Yeah, there's four of them. And you haven't seen any of them, Felix? Nope. I think I saw some scenes of the first one, and that's about it. I've seen bits and pieces, right? And isn't, what's his name? Like, isn't he the bad guy? Who? The fucking Arquette. In the first one? Yeah. The, the, yeah. Doesn't he play like an idiot or whatever? Yeah. And, then and, he, the, and the screen and the scary yeah. movie? Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's doofy. And then now he's, that's when, he's chill. That's when, when, when Monica and that guy hook up. Well, they were married for a long ass time. Yeah, but that's the movie when I think after that movie, they, that's when they hook up. Right. 97. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, no, they've been married. They, they, they yeah. divorced recently, but they've been married for a long ass time. Yeah. So I don't have any attachment to these characters. Do I care? I don't know. See, if I'm going to watch this, I have to go back and watch all four of them because that's how just, just my brain yeah, no, works. No, no, no. Just watch the first one. I know that this is only going to touch upon the first one, just like the, the, the Halloween ones did. Yeah. I could just watch the first one. Mija. Yeah, yeah, you just you just watch the first one. When She's the, very pretty. The Mija the from first one in got the a lot of hype, you know, and they made rap. Luego, luego, si una dos, wey. Oh, right yeah. after they doing the second one. Yeah, wasn't um Drew Barrymore in the first one? No, that was a scary movie. Yeah. Oh shit! Scary. Cierto, I'm getting oh, mixed up. Scary movie. I mean, scary May- movies. Maybe. No. Was the shit, man. I mean, it did came out in '96. <laughs> Wes Craven is, is a good director right see yeah. yeah yes he directed the first one he did direct the first one so that holy was a, shit that was, this, it was a good movie I mean he did A Nightmare on Elm Street he did uh, Freddy, The People Under man. the Stairs that's my favorite one Nightmare yeah I haven't seen those Clive Barker have you seen uh, movies from him there was movies and TV series too we, we used to watch the TV series too man see wait Drew Barrymore in your face Casey in the first screen, I remember oh, she, she was in there. Yeah, she oh, was in there. She, she was the one that got killed. The first she one. probably died. Oh, she's yeah. the first kill. Yeah, she was the first kill. Leave Schreiber's in this shit too. Neta? See way. Damn. El 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 saber tooths. Linda Blair. He he has a Linda Blair. Linda Blair. He Holy has a shit. TV series, no? Who Leave Schreiber? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. It was good. One. What was it called? I don't know. Oh fuck! Let me just. Felix, it was an HBO. If Felix is how. Anyway, oh, fuck. Do you think Beach that Felix. the Scream deserves a reboot like this? No. no? You do, it's so, not a reboot. I mean, it kind of is, no? Because nah. it's called the same as the first one. Yeah. Ray Donovan. That's the series. Yeah. Uh, oh, nah, yeah. It's it, uh, um, pretty I mean, good series, 11 actually. years after the last one, man. Why it took so long to make another fucking Because movie? now we're in the fucking age where they just recycle shit that's already there. But why? Because they came out, can't come up with anything. Why? Because of the monies. Are no. you gonna? There, I did watch that later turned into MTV the series. Yeah, series. Huh? I watched that. That I was on Netflix. I didn't see that one. Bubbles and I watched it. It was a bunch of hot people getting killed. Okay. Yeah. I watched that, so I kind of get the gist of what it is. It's just a, a guy dressed up as in a stupid thing running around killing people. And I think that we there was like three seasons of it, and it was like, all right, y'all just gonna keep rinsing and repeating the same shit. And I'm talking about the series. Three so seasons? Out. I think they did the three seasons about the same shit. I'm like, all right, ah, man, I got that's you it. watched the whole three? No, we watched two because uh-huh. after the second one, we were already getting annoyed because mm-hmm. it was like, who's there? Come on, bitch! There's a fucking serial killer running around. You're gonna go open the door? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Go sit down and eat some popcorn. You tear your top. What's what the fuck? Yeah. Go watch Die Hard or something. All right. Hmm. Make you guy, yeah, motherfucker. But I mean, so this doesn't deserve a reboot, remake, or a no. twenty-five year later no movie? Anna- anniversary and shit like that. No, just like Candyman. Candyman doesn't either. I don't. Th- the OG, Shh, damn. I was scared of bees back then, man. But the Candyman movie, the re- the remake, or the whatever that I watched without it's, watching any, it's really really good. That's the way I feel that, that, that one that I watched the, the OG one. You think this is gonna be the same as the OG? No, Scream. Yeah, no. They're bringing back old the older people to Why? kill the thing. Isn't this the same thing that happened with Halloween? Yeah, Blumhouse did Halloween. All of them. The no. the newest ones. Yeah, the the last ones were for <coughs> from Just Rob Zombie. Let him die, man. No, let him die. So, oh. do you think that if they come up with a brand new, see? Okay. It, it will be cheesy though. Okay. 
like a brand new goofy serial killer like this. Take the same movie beats of Scream. Uh-huh. It's a no, guy they're, dressed they're, in a thing, and, but change the costume and don't call it Scream. Everybody's going to say, oh, they're, could, they're just copying Scream. By the way. <laughs> what? Everybody's going to say, you you're just copying Scream. Saw? It's kind of the same shit. Serial killer. They make how many bunch? Nine? Of Saw movies? Is right. And then they reboot, reboot that too, and it was Kaka. The Spyro one? Yeah. yeah. Spyro was donkey dookie fire. I mean, the first saw and the second one, they were good, they were good man. And but I saw those. I didn't see any of the other ones. You don't need to because it's the same old <coughs> shit. Why? You were in middle school when you were talking I about the first one. it has to one. be because yeah. how they do in the box office. Right. That's the thing about Blumhouse. You know. Wait, did, does Blumhouse do Scream or did I just pull that out of my ass? This one, I don't know. Or whatever. Or am I confusing? Is Blumhouse doing this? No, a new one? Yeah. No, I don't, see I don't remember. No. Probably not. Fox? No. I don't. Um. I don't know. I I, I don't know. I, there is. A I little, saw the first one in the, in the movie theaters, and was, it was good. I mean, there's a cult following behind Scream, though. I feel like no. Segway. Mm, yeah, there's gotta be. You don't feel you don't feel like there is. What? A cult following behind the screen movies. A cult? Yeah, like there's a they have a, like a little group of fan, like not little, but I mean uh, like loyal fans. Ah, they they have to be, man. I, I mean, remember one of my our cousins. But I, but I mean, not crying out for another movie. Not they are probably. But they're not like millions of followers. That ah, let's, no, no, you don't know. I think maybe. I remember there was a little bit of hype when we, we when when there the was first like, time. No, when they were like we know they were making another scream. Oh, okay, okay. You think so? I don't see that much hype? No. I remember scream was huge because yeah. the the first one the mask is so iconic too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, like ghost face. It's a ghost face. I remember our, one of our cousins had one that that you had a little pump and you press the pump and it would start bleeding. Mm-hmm. Damn, that was dope. that's fucked up. Yeah, I mean, it was like fucking just red sauce on the face. It comes on the top. It was pretty dope. Me. I, mean, I don't know. That was a custom of the year, you know, back then for, for yeah. Halloween, you know. Yeah, and now it's a green tracksuit with white Numbers. bands. Uh, That's Gohan. See, if... <laughs> 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 I can see why. I see you. He got me. <laughs> Felix, no. Didn't watch, yeah. didn't watch that either. No? Um, what do you mean? <laughs> You have a Dragon Ball book? Fuck no. Hey. Pokemon's dog for life. No, man. Está bien. Uh, Pikachu with a bella. Uh, I'll Goku's. See, if I'm going to watch this, I got to watch all the other ones, and I don't know if I'm going to do that. No, you don't have to watch all of them. Just watch the first one. Are you going to watch this, Felix? Mm, yeah, sure. Why not? That's you want to watch the first one? <laughs> That's a, hey, si me wait, wait, that's a no. Are you gonna watch this, <laughs> boss me? man? No. Douche? No. Nope. That's a big no no. That's a big no no. Yeah. Hmm? No. Not worth Pretty my sure. time. Not worth your time. Speaking of stuff that I'd rather watch a fucking Nick Cage movie than Scream. Than Scream. <laughs> yes. Damn. I'd rather sure. watch Mandy again. Ah, uh, oh, Mandy's no. dope. I'd rather anyway. watch Mandy's dope. I don't know. Jiu-Jitsu? No, Jiu-Jitsu. No, 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 not Jiu-Jitsu. <laughs> Fuck no. Nice dad. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Don't do that to yourself. Let's get to the final trailer of La Semana. Why? Because. Okay. This was almost not the last trailer of La Semana because it slipped through my <laughs> my butt crack. I didn't see this shit until Felix mentioned it. Or no, I found it or whatever. I don't know. Yeah, it just popped up. Just popped up randomly on IMDb. Yeah. Home sweet home alone. So this is the trailer for Disney Plus's all-new adventure comedy, Home Sweet, Home Alone. Uh, It's the reimagining of the beloved holiday film franchise that will debut November 12th, 2021, exclusively on Disney Plus. They can suck a dick. Oh, shit. Felix coming hard on this. All over the place, Doug. Come on, Felix. Well, that was, like you said, you have your movies from your childhood. This was one of my movies from my childhood. Mine yep. too. I mean, I'm, the, not, I'm not the fucking old man. You no, already had kids I know. when this shit How came out. How old are you, Felix? The same 29. Movie. 10 years, yes. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> you old, son. you old. But, but the thing is not that after the, the, they peaked after the second one. Right. So Anything everything, without, yeah. 
everything, yeah, everything after that without Macaulay, it's it's it's, it's utter garbage. Okay. And then they come out with this one. I mean, that kid was likable in in Jojo Rabbit. Yeah, but he, here he stole the movie. Uh, oh yeah, definitely. Oh, but here I, I was like, ah, yeah. And I mean, I'm Kimmy Schmidt is not gonna fucking frighten anybody. <sighs> so no, I'm not gonna watch this. No, I was, that's a hard. I would rather watch Clifford twice back to back. This is a Christmas movie. Allegedly. Okay. It's fucking Home Alone. No way. It's Halloween. No. So Spendejo, it's fucking Christmas, dog. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> hey, my what neck. do you mean? My neck. My neck. What do you mean? This fool asks if Home Alone is a Christmas movie. Not this one. The All Home of them. Alone. Okay. Is oh, there some Christmas of them that are not? Nope. Like the four and the five and those? I mi, think mi one angelito? wasn't. <laughs> Also, <laughs> no, isn't I that think, Dennis the Menace? I, yeah, no, no, no the people are Diablito. No, that's that's the one, the redhead one. Oh, ni siquiera. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo se llama ese Problem Child. Yeah, people. Yeah, mm. that was a bad. Yeah, yeah, that was that was. Are fun. the other but Home Alones? The, yes, I think they're, they're all Christmas. Christmas. Yeah, they're Christmas. I thought no, there was the, one the, the I think there was one that wasn't with the one with like a smart house that did sh like weird shit. The second one is in New York. Yes. Yeah. Okay. With Donald Trumps. Home Alone Tree. I never watched that one. I think I've seen Home Alone Tree. El Donald oh. Tramps, is cierto. <laughs> tree. Mm -hmm. He's in Chicago. I feel like in the nineties, they were trying to make this kid something, mm. and it just didn't work. The guy, the kid from the third one. Yeah. Yeah. There's only three. Okay. Here comes the question no, there again. Was more, there's more away. Does it really? need a rebooting? Home Alone. No. I mean, we've seen it. We oh, know yes, what it's about. Is. Home Alone Four. What TV movie? This is a different kid from 2000. I think I remember this one too. Yeah. Over Christmas. I just mm. want to see if they're all Christmas. Which I think they are. Home Alone 4. So short. short. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, what was your question, douche? I don't remember. Should they reboot it? Yeah. The thing is, is, no. It needs a reboot. Nothing needs a reboot no. anymore. Nothing. Everything that's ever been made, don't touch it anymore. A reboot should now mean going in and retouching it digitally to make it look 4K, 8K, all the case. Yeah, like rigid, digit, like the games. Redigitize. Yes. yes. Make it prettier so I can be watching it in my big fat fucking screen. No more remakes of nothing. No more. Any of it. Any of it. Come up with new fucking shit. This is so absurd and gross. I can't. I can already tell it's woke as fuck. What is Kimmy Schmidt doing in there? She's not scary. No. No. The guy's a moron. She's the brains. <laughs> the and British. it doesn't and the, 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 the mom doesn't have the urgency from the first two movies. Because I don't know. Well, obviously she's. I don't think that girl's like that good of an actress. I don't know her. Damn. I wouldn't shots even pretend. To. Fucking fired. That's what I'm saying. I don't know her. Hey, I hey, haven't hey. seen any of her shit. But I could not believe that she left her son alone in her house, as opposed to the first mom, who I can't remember the name. And then but the she was bomb in 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 in, in Nightmare on, uh, huh? Christ, uh, Night Before Christmas. Mm. But. No, she, you Christmas. believe her? Yeah, she is Sally. Who you you believe? She's Beale, you too. Who the fuck are you talking about? I don't know. The mom from Home Alone, the first two ones? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Catherine O'Hara. Yeah. yeah, Catherine O'Hara. Oh. She made it believable. This yeah. bitch doesn't. Yes, mm -hmm. she feels like a mama. Don't call her a bitch. Like, chill. Uh, <laughs> well, it's still, right. uh, it's still a, the moment. This is a TV movie, right? What? It's in Disney+. Plus. It's a TV movie. It's streaming, oh. yeah. Yeah, streaming. I mean, it's not going to be... Well, no. based, if, if you go by that standard, Black Widow was also a TV movie. No, it came out in the theater. Yeah, it came out in the theater. And mm. Di Disney paid him so she can shut up. That's how much money Mickey got. He was like, ¿Cuál es tu pinche pelo? Scarlet, shut up. And hit her in the face with a briefcase of money. Mm -hmm. And now she shut up. Yeah. <sighs> it's British. Yeah. I don't have a problem with that. It's just that what? This little kid doesn't evoke the same emotion that little Macaulay made us feel. No. No. Nope. No. This kid no, is this kid is cuter than Macaulay. 
Because chubby. Because he's chubby. Yeah. And he's represented for the fat guys with glasses. Douche. Right? Is it? He looks like me as a child, which is fine. The uh, thing is. Probably goldy hair. You had goldy yeah. hair. Macaulay Culkin is like a little human. That's what made him cute. Right? He's like a little adult. He goes shopping by himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he rents <laughs> like out a, a fucking room <laughs> at a hotel. Dude, yeah, he was like literally a little human. What the fuck are you talking about? Like, he was like. <laughs> Like he was like uh, <laughs> I know what you, he was like uh, like, like a little well, yeah adult. like a little yeah 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 you corrected mature. yourself mature for his time. age he was mature for his age and even <laughs> pretending to be with that cashier right he was yeah. like oh my dad's waiting for me See, at the car <laughs> I want to watch those movies now and he's a cabron también yeah. he was a little cabron way like, he was a psychopath and he was like you know trucha he was like on it. He could figure shit out. I'm this like kid looks just too sweet. He's not going to... Uh, I don't know. Not on the kid. It's just like, no matter what they did, oh, it's fucking Buzz. That's what that is. The cop is Buzz. Oh, oh that's why he looks so familiar. That's why I said it McAllister. Yeah, that's I didn't an re- Easter egg, yeah. It's a little Easter egg. Oh, damn. Yeah, okay. So they couldn't bring in Macaulay Culkin. They couldn't bring uh, Catherine O'Hara. They couldn't bring the... <laughs> Let's bring in Buzz. We don't need another one with those guys. We only had a reboot... No, make something else. But does it make it washable because it's British? No? No. Hell no. 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 It's That's it's, another thing. They're trying to make this some like stories with different accents, you know. That's fine. I don't know. I mean care. right now I don't know if it started like Wonder Years. You, you ever watch Wonder Years? No. What do you mean? I don't think I did. No. Put on the list. Okay. One of the years <laughs> they re- they they rebooted, but we all, with black people, you know. Okay. You it's Mexican be, and racist, so I'm gonna move. No, on. no, 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 no. I mean, <laughs> they're making a story, but not with that the that side. You that's know, it's what different. I, that's what I meant. That they kind of woken it up with the lady. The lady is the brains of the operation. The mm-hmm. lady robber. Mm-hmm. Right. Entonces, Plus, do they so need s- to do that? They need to no, do nothing. Hell no. You're talking about the wokeness. That's a whole other different. That's a whole other. I know. But thing. I'm going to steer away yeah. from that. Okay. Because what you guys, how you guys think, Fuck doesn't wokeness. go with Twitter. <laughs> it, Fuck you can, Twitter. You can get, Fuck the wokeness. Can, Fuck the woke people. You can get canceled. <laughs> you can get canceled. Canceled. But you what can I'm, cancel me on Twitter. Who gives a shit? I don't use it. No, what I'm trying to get at is it doesn't make sense. You can just FaceTime the little fucker. You made it's me stand up, you son of a bitch. It's 2021. No one can see you, fool. I don't know what you stand up for. It's 2021. Oh, I, I tired. It's 2020. Yeah. It it don't work anymore. No. Just you, call the motherfucker. Hey, just you call. Good? Hey, go with your tia way. <laughs> or I'm going to send an Uber to go get you and you're going to get on the next flight. They're going to make up some bullshit. Oh, there's no more flights or whatever. They'll figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. It's so stu- I mean, it worked for the time it came out, but right now, come on. Yeah, these, times, bro. these times you can live. Well, there's no way you can live. I just alone. freeze frame and I'm going to piss you off because you're talking about wokeness. It looks like the people who are running around the house are black. So it looks like she, the mom, just adopted a bunch of people instead of them being a giant family running around the house. God damn it. So they, they shazammed it? Looks like they shazammed it. Mm, interesting. While well, they're watching, they're playing something? They What's were it? playing something, but see, the other one was. Uh, that's another thing too that's where doesn't look like there's enough people in the house how did you forget the one little kid yeah they didn't sell that look that, I mm-hmm. guess there was a tia that's a, that the, it looked like there was another black lady there yeah probably like like their auntie or something yeah look there's a black lady right there never mind there doesn't look like there's that many people there's one uh-huh. two three four five six there's seven people in the house and the, the first one, one weren't there like it 15? was a whole. It was a whole ass family. Yeah. yeah, I forgot about the motherfucker. Like twenty people, I think. I <laughs> forgot him. Plus, it's just been there, done that. Write something else, for fuck's sake. Mm-hmm. It's just annoying, man. I'd rather watch Home Alone again. Rather, yeah. rather watch them both. I mean, we could always do that, right? We, we, we the, the the creation of this doesn't negate the existence of the other one, which is fine. But Disney, you could have just given me this money that you spent on this, right? And you wasted it on whatever the fuck this is. Yeah. It, that's just the that's just the time we're in now. There's not gonna be any more new action stars. They're 
Well, I mean, remake I everything? think Netflix is doing a pretty good job right now on production. I mean, they're bringing up yeah. foreign uh, movies, actors. I mean, they've been doing a lot Series. of like, like Squid Game is one of them. The the me Mexican uh, shit. There's a lot of good production. Mexican yeah, shit. there was also a, a trailer for Narcos Mexico Three, but we don't give a fuck about it. So no, I mean, touch upon we're it. gonna watch it, but it's gonna be new. Go get, go watch it if you want. Mm -hmm. But I mean, Netflix. I think right now is doing a better job. <laughs> Yeah, the streaming shit money into than Disney because that, Disney Plus. I mean, Disney has a lot of shit like Fox, Marvel, and they're sticking to that. You know, well, yeah. Right I now. mean, this is one of the first they're things that they're the, that, that they're touching that that they that they came with their deal. Yeah, with Home Alone was part of their deal that they yeah. bought. Oh yeah, that was Fox. It's it was Fox. Fox. Yeah, Fox. So they're okay. <clears throat> they're trying to dig in. And say, ah, let's let's see if we can make a new. And but we why? also. Because I, I don't know. Because they can. That's why. Because they can. They see money. They say, okay, this is an opportunity to get fat and rich. They're going to do it. Am I against that? But I mean, no. it's going gonna, gonna to be free. I'm going to watch it. On Disney Plus. I mean. Free? Oh, yeah, allegedly free, but yeah. I never, you know. I never hit record on that one. <laughs> uh, no, mom, what no, the fuck? Quedamos. No, no, we're good. We're good. It's because oh. that one's dying and I didn't we're have to start over again, Felix. Okay. Ah, fuck. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no, ah, we're, good. we're good. We're I'm good. Down. No, we're good. Uh, but I mean, you agree or no? I agree. And it, it, it improves my point even more. People are going bad shit crazy over Squid Game, right? Mm -hmm. Do you know any of the actors in Squid Game? No. Okay. Have you seen that before? <laughs> yes. Yeah. So just remake shit, tweak it a little bit, and call it something else. It's Parasite but and they have and, agendas and, and, and shit behind all that, all the American stuff. So the Koreans saying. don't give a mother fuck about anything. Well, I haven't seen all the Koreans, so I don't know what they're coming from. But it's not Hunger Games, man. It's Hunger Games and Parasite. Mm. I've seen it before. I've seen Squid Games before. Oh yeah, and Battle Royale. It's Way Battle Royale. That. Yeah, I mean. it's hunger. And Hunger Game was a copy of Battle Royale. A blatant copy. And fucking Hunger Games sold like a motherfucker. They did three mm -hmm. or four movies. Uh, four, four. Was the, yeah, the part? last one they was two part, divided yeah. into. Yeah, the last one. And it's something that existed already. The Joker Fire told differently. I mean, right. If you, if if I mean, it's a series. I would I mean, watch they, they, something. They found another way to tweak it. That's the cool thing. That's what I'm saying. I mm -hmm. would watch something that's not called Home Alone, but it's essentially Home Alone. Let's say Home Alone, and it's a little black kid, and he's stuck in the hood. I would watch oh. that over this shit. Oh, well, twist it, make it a white kid stuck in the hood. It wasn't called it was Home Alone. It could be it would be right. Alone in the Hood. No, just. Uh, you delete all of that. You just call it something else. Yeah. Same with Scream. It's a different serial killer, and it's the same shit. Tweak. A I would watch that over the remakes, bad remakes of shit we've seen before. It's just my reaction is because uh, I'm a little sick of all these remakes. Yeah, but yeah. Some are we, be you've been dope, saying you know? that since oh, no. I don't know remember when. But then I go and fucking watch them. I said, "Bitch, bail away." Because Wait. of what we're doing right now. Yeah. You're not gonna watch. I'm not watching Home Alone, Home Sweet Home Alone. No, oh, hell no. A Scream, yeah. maybe. Scream would have to have decent reviews to watch. Uh, I I already asked this before. But Where's the difference between remake and reboot? That's on you, Felix. Go ahead. So remake is when they they grab something and they tweak it and make it. It's it's the same thing. In essence, but with kind of like a total recall. Yeah, that's a remake. Okay. A reboot is when they restart the whole thing from from scratch, mm, like okay. they tried to do, with? in a way with the Terminator movies. They rebooted. No. Well, it was a kind of a soft reboot, but not really with to. the last one. Yeah, yeah. One. the last one. Uh, what was it? But doesn't the reboot doesn't Dark have to have the the main the original cast? No, not this the original cast, cast? The, the the original characters but with they can do different things but they don't necessarily have to need to have the original cast because the last one has the original cast yeah so that's not a reboot <laughs> or a remake that's a continuation that's a sequel uh -huh, that's to continuation. Yeah. the first one 
for instance, the Ghostbuster one, the the girl one. There's a reboot. Yeah, that's a reboot. And the in the last one, it's gonna and be, this is it's gonna, gonna be, be a, a, a sequel from yeah continuation of the okay. second one that came back in the eighties. They came out in the eighties. Okay. So while Sun films can be considered both a remake and a reboot, there are some fundamental differences between the two. A movie remake refers to when a brand new movie is made based on an older movie. Okay. A movie remake, uh, movie remakes do their best way, do the best to stay true. A bit. Movie remakes do their best to stay true to the source material. So a reboot takes the old movie and tweaks it and makes it essentially with the intent of making it better. A remake takes the movie and just redoes it. This Home Alone would be a remake. But then it gets muddy because they're throwing in characters from the original movie. Okay. So it's a sequel. So it's like a sequel reboot. Yeah. Which gets fucking confusing. I don't want any of those anymore. For instance, the Dune, the new movie is going to come out. Okay. It's a reboot or a remake? That's a remake. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> because they're taking the source material. Not even the movie, the, the, the OG. No, it's, it's the OG source because the the movie that came out in the in the in the seventies or eighties, mm-hmm. uh-huh. that's also from the book loosely based. And that is, I I give that one a pass, and it's hypocritical. Number one, because I haven't seen the, neither the original. Uh-huh. Oh, the original is fucking horrible. Right, my dad told me like, watch it, watch it, watch it. It's crazy, right? But I give it, it is a pass. Crazy, but it is horrible. But I give it a pass because they were trying to make something. They were ahead of their time. They were trying to oh, make yeah. something that mm-hmm. they weren't capable of reproducing in a form, in a visual form for us to take. Now we have the technology. Now we have the visual effects. What time was this? The first one. Seventies. In Star Wars. Eighties. Uh, it was around so, all that. Yeah. Star Wars. Yeah. And the same shit. But, as Star Wars. And no, wor- but the thing out. is that Star Wars is based on shit that came, that was in Dune. Yeah. So when it's the, this is the granddaddy. Yeah. Oh, so okay. when the first Dune was gonna get made, they spent all the money the dude had, uh, Alejandro Jodorowsky. All the money he'd had, he spent it on pre-production. He didn't even made it to production. And there's a whole yeah. documentary of it. And that's the grandpappy of ev- almost every sci-fi movie to date. Yeah. So if you look at I the heard, trailer I heard about the- that, that guy Jodorowsky. So if you he look was at the, crazy. He was fucking nuts. Yeah, if you look at the trailer, it came out in '84. They did their 84. best, right? But it doesn't. It it doesn't. It doesn't translate well. Because yeah, the the story's so complicated and complex. Yeah, they can't do yeah. it in a two hour movie. But you nice also have other movies like Star Wars, and I would even say uh, Blade Runner that do hold up well. Yeah. Oh yes, they do. They fucking do. right. Because it depends on the. Director, and they and they the read it. The they read it. Fucking Blade Runner two. There was a twenty it. something years later sequel to it. Yeah. yeah, that's a sequel. They didn't remake it. That's a direct sequel. I know. That's the thing I'm t- talking about. In the eighties, there wasn't a much uh, sci fi movies. There were more action movies, you know. Yeah. In the nineties with the tech. I mean, it's Sting kicking ass and Dune. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it wasn't Allegedly, yeah. it was Sting. <laughs> yes, it was Sting. The Dude, they Sting. were milking cats and milking rats. So it, was, it's, 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 it was easier to make explosions than make this kind of shit back then. Oh yeah, I get it. And so the that's, 90s, that's the only thing they had. They that, have more technology. They do more sci-fi movies. That's why I give this before. one a pass. Right? Okay, y- YouTube the uh, the training scene from the first Dune. Why? <laughs> Just so you can grasp the the visual special effects they had, okay, it's fucking hilarious. Okay, I'm I'm not I'm not gonna do that on the pod. No, but I'll do that on, on my own time. Yeah, I'm not gonna watch the new one. Yeah, we're all watching yeah, the new one. one. Yes, but again, we didn't watch the original. So is speak for yourself. So we don't have to. Okay, no, we don't have to. It's a it's a it's, it's a, a remake. It's, it's a remake. Yeah, I mean, you can watch the movie regardless. It is it. it Watching the first one, then watching this one, it is going to add a little bit of spark just because the first one was so cheesy, so so a product of its time. It's, it's, a, it's a fun thing, but you definitely don't have to watch it. I guess I was a little harsh when I said I don't want any reboots of all time. I never, never, never. Because uh, I, I, I immediately thought of, of Tron as well. 
That was a good movie. That's a sequel. I liked it. I saw Disney the first one? one. I still haven't seen the second one. But okay. there's time between them where you you have the technology of 2010 to be able to do what you were actually trying to do. Yeah. And I get that. But sometimes it works. I guess, I guess what I'm saying it is... Worked back, it it kind of works back then. I, if, I mean, if you're going to do it, do it well. That's all I'm saying. Don't do it for a money grab. Because we can tell. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. You know? If, if you're going to do it, do it properly. No vengas con mamadas. Do it right. This feels... Home sweet, home alone feels like a money grab. Mm-hmm. Scream feels like a money grab. Dune doesn't. But maybe that movie's not for us, man. Oh, definitely not for home us. Single, home alone is not for us. Who's it for? For kids for their age. That age. So you can watch it. The age would, when we would, watched the first ones. You would play this for your kids? No. Your kids will give a shit about this. <laughs> no. You have a 13 <laughs> and a 5. Some of some, some they can no, watch. No, 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 no. You have a 13. No. 15. 15. And a what? 5? 6. 15? 6. Little fuck, yeah. Shut up. Don't make me cry like my auntie. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> so you got a 15 and a 5-year-old. Yeah. 6. 6-year-old. It's going to be 7. Motherfucker. Damn. So you got those, you have those age ranges. Mm-hmm. Who the fuck is this for then? Definitely not a 15 year old. No. Have they, have either well, of them? Well, the little ha- one loved Venom. He wanted to watch, I want to watch Venom, I want to watch Venom. All right, that's great. Have they seen the original Home Alones? Yeah. Santi, yeah. Okay. The 15 year old. Yeah, 15 year old, yeah. So who the fuck is this for then? It's not for the five, uh, not for the six year old, not for the 15 year old, it's not for a 30 year old. No. Not for the forty year old. I'm not forty, man. You're forty four. No, man. You're younger than bubbles. <laughs> okay, I'll take that. <laughs> is it I'll for the twenty year olds? Who the fuck is this for? It feels like a no. cash grab. None of the above. That's all my. That's my whole point. We can tell when you're doing it for love and when you're doing it for money. Yeah. I mean, a cartoon for what age they are? Disney cartoons. I well, watch Disney cartoons. cartoons. I watch all of them. Yeah. It, because they put stuff in there for all of us. So it's better if you, you watch it if it was a cartoon? Not this one. Not Home Alone. No, yeah, Home Alone in cartoon. Would you watch it? With my kid, yeah. No. Uh, Would you watch it if it's Home Alone and Macaulay Culkin is the dad forgetting his son, his daughter? Yes. <laughs> Would you we'll watch it? Yeah. It's the same <laughs> shit as a scream. No. It's the same shit. It's actually the same thing. It's the yeah. the... No way. It's the same See, shit. Way. It's the same shit. But You're yeah. the fucking Different. problem. No, no, no. You're no, the no, fucking. No. You're fired from watching movies, Doc. No way. See, wait. No <laughs> way. It's the same shit. No. That is. It is. Yes. We're, we're yeah, taking I, the uh, character we love, making them grown ass people, and throwing their son in there. Like they fucking did with almost did with Star Wars. Like they did with Star Wars. Like they did with Shaft. That. Like they did with Coming to America. Oh, like they did with Ghostbusters. Like they did with fucking Scream. Like they did with Halloween. Let me keep going. The Halloween, no. See way. See way. In the first Halloween, it's it's Jamie Lee Curtis's daughter that's running around in there. The new ones? Yes. And I just Wasn't sit in the scenario and you would watch it. It, but it's it's, it's their the same descendant. Thing. Same principle. It's their descendant. Mm. You'll watch it too. Yes, that's the point that's pissing me off. <laughs> <laughs> We're part of the problem. Way. Sí, way, pero no, it shouldn't be any of it. No Home Alones, never ever again. Make Home Alone one and two, eight K Disney Plus, and then we would watch it. I feel like those Netflix things, like those movies that raised us or whatever. What's that called? The movie that made us. us. More people watch that of Home Alone. Then watch Home Sweet Home Alone. Oh hell yeah! I think yeah, definitely. And if all you care about is 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 clicks, instead of making remakes, give us documentaries of the shit we love. Ooh, that's good. It costs less, and it's more informational, and people will watch it more. Mm-hmm. I see. That's instead right. of Scream, give us behind the scene and never before seen footage. Of, of of all four screen movies and where they, you know, a documentary behind it, people would watch that more than a no scream. Kind of like Man- Mandalorian Gallery. Watch that one? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. That was good. <sighs> Fuck. We would watch a Macaulay Culkin cheering movie. Fuck. <laughs> We're part of the problem. 
anyway. Wow, no, we, we, we're part of the solution, like you said. No, because no one's listening to us. How do you know? Because I know. Geek, 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 and please. analytics. But if y'all one of some of the ones that listen to us, shout outs to you and y'all. If y'all listen this to us on the audio realm at the Geek Flex and Joysticks on on the uh, Apple and the uh, iBox and the Stitcher and all that in the audio realm, and you haven't seen our pretty faces, please. shout outs to you. <clears throat> but and if you're over on the YouTube's, shout outs to you as well. Geek Flex and Joysticks on the YouTube's. Subscribe. For more podcasts like this, uh, Felix and I are going to talk probably about an hour and a half for next week's uh, review roundup. There's a whole bunch of shit that came out that we watched. Instead of watching old shit, we watch new shit. <laughs> We're going to discuss and talk about it there. I also got an Instagram, Geeks, Fix, and Justice, and a Facebook page. Go and support us there. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that. Subscribe to the channel. We got more stuff. I'm going to come at you with FOMO reviews, all that good shit. Follow my homie. Jafel91 on the Instagram. You want people to follow you? That's okay. Okay, fuck off. Everybody, fuck <laughs> off. Uh, follow me at Enterprises P A. Alec Mac underscore 911, aka 211. Bubbles. <laughs> 911, help. Enterprises P A U R A Z, yes. <laughs> and Miss Bubbles at Alex underscore Mac 211. Ya se la acabó su mes. This enough. No more, bir- no more birthday. Ya la verga. Ya estuvo. I'm sick and tired of his fucking birthday. Shit. No more birthday shit. Enough. Anything you want to say to the beautiful people, Felix? Don't eat asparagus when you're eating ass. Okay. I don't know. I just let him say whatever the fuck you want. Anything mm-hmm. you want to say to the beautiful people, boss man, aka douche. Get vaccinated. It's all always and forever. You do you. Bye. Be blink, be blink. <laughs> What the fuck? Asparagus and eat ass. Your ass tastes funny if you eat asparagus? Dude, your farts, your piss, and your shit stink like a dead body. Okay. <laughs>